Hey there, and welcome. Are you ready to unlock a math superpower? I'm talking about a power that helps you make everything fair, solve tricky problems, and just organize your world. And that superpower? It's division. You know that feeling, right? You've got this awesome bag of candy, a whole bunch of friends are looking at you, and you want to make sure it's fair for everyone. How do you do it? Well, that little puzzle right there, that's exactly what division was invented for. So first things first, let's really dig into what division is. And hey, forget about boring math rules for a second. Just think of this as your training to become a, a hero of fairness. Okay, so at its core, division is super simple. It's just taking a big pile of stuff and splitting it into smaller, perfectly equal groups. That's it. You're basically becoming a super fair snack distributor. That's the main idea. All right, so to use this superpower, you got to know the key players, right? The total you start with, that's called the dividend. The number of groups you're making, that's the divisor. And the answer, you know, how many things go in each group, that's the quotient. And see that last one, remainder? We'll get to that. That's like the next level up. Now. You want to know a secret? A little cheat code that makes division so much easier? It's basically the opposite of multiplication. Think about it. If you know that two friends times five apples each equals 10 apples, you can just flip that right around. 10 apples divided by two friends means, yep, five apples each. They're in like a perfect team, working forwards and backwards. Okay, theory is great, but let's put this superpower into action. Let's see how it works in the real world with, you guessed it, a classic snack sharing problem. All right, here's our mission. We've got 15 granola bars, and we've got three friends. We gotta be fair. So, how many granola bars does each friend get? Let's figure out what 15 divided by three is. So, how do we tackle this? Well, we know our total, the dividend, is 15, and we know our number of groups, the divisor, is three. So now we ask that magic question, the one that links back to multiplication. What number times three gets me 15? Hmm, if you know your multiplication facts, you're already smiling because you know the answer. Boom, it's five. Each friend gets five granola bars. How awesome is that? You just used your division superpower to solve a real life problem. 15 divided by three equals five. Done. Okay, so sharing snacks is awesome for sure. But this superpower, it's useful for so much more than that. Let's take a look at all the other places you can use division in your day to day life. Seriously, division is everywhere. It's like it's hiding in plain sight. Splitting up stickers with your classmates, that's division. Figuring out how many Lego bricks go into each tower to make them equal, yep, division. Even figuring out how many weeks you have to save your allowance to get that new toy, or splitting up your homework time, it's all division. It helps make sense of everything. All right, you ready to level up? Because sometimes, you know, in life and in math, Things just don't split up perfectly, and that is totally okay. Let's talk about leftovers. This is a really good question, and I get it. It can feel a little tricky at first. I mean, what do you do when you've shared everything out as fairly as you can, but there's still a few things left over? Well, the answer has a special name, the remainder. A remainder is just the word we use for those extra items, the ones that are left over after you've made all your equal groups. Okay. Let's try a new problem so you can see exactly how this works. Picture this. You've got 17 cookies this time and the same three friends. So we're doing 17 divided by three. Okay, so we already know from our last problem that three times five is 15, right? So we can definitely give each of our three friends five cookies. Great, that uses up 15 of our cookies. But we started with 17, so what about the ones left over? Well, if you started with 17 and you've already handed out 15, you've got two left. And those two leftover cookies, that's our remainder. So how do we actually write that down? It's easy. We say the answer is five with a remainder of two. Or for short, you can just write five R2. All that means is each friend gets five cookies and there are two extras left over. Simple as that. Okay, so you've got the basics down. You have the tools. Now. The big question is, how do you go from just knowing the rules to really mastering this superpower and becoming a total division pro? Well, it all comes down to practice. And practice can actually be fun. You can use physical things like buttons or even pasta to make groups. You could turn every snack time into a little division game. 
Grab some flashcards, find some fun online math games, or hey, just draw pictures of the problems. The more you do it, the better and faster you'll get. I promise. And just remember this, math isn't just a bunch of numbers on a worksheet. When you start actually seeing division out there in the real world, when you're cooking or playing games or planning something, it stops feeling like a chore. It just becomes this really cool, useful tool that you can use every single day. So I'm gonna leave you with a little challenge. Now that you've got this math superpower, look around. What's something you are gonna share fairly today? Thanks so much for hanging out with me.